For this drawing we're going to take this isometric and we're going to do a front view, top view and a left view in first angle orthographic projection. We're going to leave that over there. We're going to start off this drawing by going and completing our front view. Okay, so for our front view we're first going to check our sizes. We have a length here of that front line of going to be 10 plus 40 plus 10, so a total of 60 in length and the total height is 45. Okay, and because we're drawing a front view and a left view, our left view in first angle orthographic is going to come on the right hand side over here. So we actually need to start the front view over there on our page. So I'm just going to move that across. Okay, so my front view's max height is 45 millimeters, so I can quite comfortably go and measure about 100 millimeters down off the top of my page. I'm actually going to make it about 90 and make a mark there and I know that I can quite comfortably start the bottom line of my front view there. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my baseline there, okay, of this front view. I'm going to start with a construction line and then onto that construction line I'm then going to draw out the first line of my front view which I know now is 40, 60 millimeters long because of this front view even though there's a hole here you're still going to see a dark line there and that line over there is a dark line as well as that front one so that whole front line of 60 millimeters is going to be a dark line so I can start that off dark straight away and then I'm going to do these pillars over here which go straight up 45 millimeters up I'm just going to draw in two construction lines for starters there for those two okay and I know that these those both go up 45 millimeters I'm going to go and measure that off and then of course I can clearly see here I'm going to have a dark line right across the top for that little front piece and this piece there and there that's going to be seen as one single dark line so I can go and draw a dark line right across the top here joining those two lines okay then I've got two 10 millimeter pillars so I'm going to go and measure off my two 10 millimeters and make a mark on each side there and I can clearly see I'm going to have a line straight up for both of those. So I'm going to draw a dark line in over here. And another one here. Okay, and then I've got this line which is going to come across over here, which is 30 millimeters up on the side. So I'm going to measure 30 mils up, make my mark. And then I'm going to simply project a line across on that pillar as well on that one as they match. Okay, so there's the first part of my front view already done. Now I've just got the hole to do. And I can see here I've got an 8mm gap at the top, 6mm on the side, and it looks like another 6mm at the bottom over here. It's not the same as the top height. So I'm going to go and measure on the side over here, 8mm down. And I'm going to make a mark. So measure 8 mils down, make a mark there. And then I'm also going to go and measure 6 millimeters across. Give myself a mark. And then, of course, the 6 millimeters will be the same on the other side as well. 6 millimeters. Okay, so those two 6 millimeters, I'm going to go and draw a construction line in on both of those just so that I can see exactly where those measurements are. And then my 8 millimeter line will be on that mark there and then at the bottom as I said looks like it's six millimeters as well so I'm going to mark that off on six and then I no longer need a construction line I'll clearly be able to see where the dark line is meant to end for that hole so I can draw in dark line there there's one there and then I can go and darken these two lines. Okay, now that's my front view done. OK, 
Okay, there's no hidden detail in that front view at all. Okay, we've just got the hole that we can see over there, and then those two pillars. Now, we now need to go and find our other two views. And I always go straight from my front view to my top view, but I am going to now go and draw in my 10 millimeter XY lines. So I'm going to measure 10 millimeters away from each side of the drawing. And I'm going to go and draw in a nice XY line over there. And do the same over here. Draw in my other XY line over there. And now I know that I'm going to be drawing a left view here. So I'm going to add in my 45 degree line here, which I know I'm going to have to project off of later. So I'm going to put that in. Okay, now I can project. Okay, because it's orthographic projection from my front view, I can go and project each of these side lines so I don't have to measure them. So I'm going to project a line down from each of the lines I have in my front view. Project each of those down. I mean that my top view will be in line with my front view, which it has to be, and also that it will be accurate. Okay, now I'm also going to go and measure my 10 millimeters away from my XY line. Okay, I'm going to measure that. Make a mark, and then I can just draw in a construction line for that. Okay, now for my top view. Okay, that was my front view. My top view over here, I've got this okay, piece at the top over here. You can clearly see it over there. I've got that piece over there, which I'm going to have to see, as well as this little piece over here, as well as that little piece over there. Okay, so it's kind of going to look a little bit like an upside down U. Now, I've already got my construction lines in, so I don't really need to measure much. I can already draw my dark line across here. That dark line, of course, is for this line over here, which I can see my top view. And then I can also go measure 10 millimeters down. Measure 10 millimeters down on the side there for the thickness of that top. Of course, that was 20. This is halfway, so that would be 10. Okay, and then I can go and draw in there. If I follow that 10 and I follow these projection lines down, then that will be the gap. The gap starts. So that's that line there. And then I need to go and draw in the length of this. Now, over here, I've got that's 20 and that's 10. So the total length of that line on the top is going to be 30. And I'm going to draw that all in once. So I'm going to measure 30 from that start line there. Okay. I only have to measure it on the one side. Now I'll have a little dark line, 10 mil dark line here for the front of that pillar. There'll be another one over here for the front of that other pillar. And then of course that also shows me how long that line's supposed to be. So I can draw that in dark. And then of course this line over here for the side of the pillar. And this one. Okay. Now normally I get a lot of questions about now what do we do with hidden detail? Well, the, for hidden detail, whenever you suspect that there might be hidden detail, you go and check the, your lines that you've now projected from your front view because you need to go and see that you've used all of them. If you haven't used all of them, you know that there's some hidden detail. So we projected that, we've used that line, we've used that line, but we projected this line, we, you can see that we haven't used it for anything. Now that line represents our hole. There's our hole over there. Now in our top view, the inside of that hole, those lines there, we can't see that in our top view. Okay, that's why we haven't drawn it in. But we have to draw it in as hidden detail. And that's where we can see those two lines there. We projected them, but we didn't use them for any dark lines. So they represent hidden detail lines. And they are going to give us a hidden detail line over here. And another one over there. And now I've used all of my lines that I've projected down. Okay, top view is done. Now to go to our left view. And for that, we're going to project from the front view. I'm just going to move this out of picture for a little bit. Okay, we're going to project from our front view across. And again, we're going to project all of the sides that we can see in our front view. We're going to project those all across. 
okay, into our left view. And then we're going to project all of the lines from our top view onto our 45 degree line. And where they hit the 45 degree line, we project those straight up into our left view. Okay, now for our, for our left view, looking from that direction there, okay, we can clearly see here we're going to have, we're going to see this side over here, which is of course all of this here, so we're going to get a nice little fat L shape, which should form here, okay, and the top length of our left view over here is meant to be 20 millimeters, okay, and the, oh, we've forgotten something in our top view, sorry, we've forgotten our, uh, this little ridge over here in our top view, so we need to go and add that in. Okay, that's towards 20 millimeters in size, so I'm just going to measure that 20 millimeter out there, mark that off, and add in those two lines. Now our top view is complete. Okay, I'm going to project that across as well, and straight up into our left view. Okay, that's better. Okay, now we can see where that little L shape is going to form. Our 20 millimeters across, that 20 mil line will simply be there using the projection lines okay, which we got from our top view going across to there and then of course that will come down as a dark line at the back over here all the way to there to meet up with our baseline. And then, of course, our baseline is our full 50 mil line across, but we don't need to measure that either because we can use the projection from our top view to there. And then we've got that little piece that goes up. Again, is meant to meet over there, which is that little level there. And again, we don't need to measure. We can just project up. And then we can draw in that little level line and then our other vertical line to go and finish that off. Okay, and there we have our little fat L shape. Okay, which is of course showing our left view. But now again, we've got a whole bunch of lines here that we haven't used. So there must be some hidden detail here. Because we haven't gone and used this line that we projected up. And we also haven't used that line coming across there or that line coming across there from our front view. So somewhere that's got to give us some hidden detail and it does because of course it's this hole again over here. Okay, It's going to give us hidden detail there to indicate the hole which is supposed to sit over here. So we're going to go and draw that in. That line over there would go up until there and this one over here it's the two sides of the hole and then of course we can't see the front end of the hole which is this line here which we haven't used yet and we're going to draw that in as hidden detail. Now we've used all of our projection lines. We now have a complete first angle orthographic with a front view, top view and a left view.